in the sort of Corbyn project, my sort of view of it from afar, from across the pond, is it's sort of about power relations, rebalancing power between sort of capitalists and workers. Um, my particular question relates to the notion of productivity, sort of technology displacing work in the context of AI, digital economy. So my question is really this, if, if you have that rebalance, you strengthen unions, but then there's this other sort of tidal force of technology kind of gradually displacing work over time. Um, how do you think we should manage that kind of change? I mean, I know there's the inclusive ownership funds, which I think Labour was proposing, where you have mm -hmm. an ownership share of capital. So do you see this kind of blend where there's a, a strengthening of workers' rights and control combined with this sort of maybe this hack of financialization where you can give people ownership stakes in assets, in capital, in the economy. Um, so it's sort of a balance, perhaps. I mean, what, where, do you, where do you come down on that sort of idea? Yeah. Um, so in the book, I talk about basically how the only way to deal with the challenges that we face, whether that's inequality, you know, the crises that are resulting from capitalism or climate change, is to socialize ownership. Um, so again, you know, coming back to this idea that uh, if we all collectively owned the things that we needed to produce the stuff together, then we would be able to use those, the means of production to democratically plan economic activity rather than just saying, let private corporations do it for profit and hope that, you know, terrible things don't happen. Um, and yeah, getting from here to there requires us, yes, to build working class power, but you know, partly that is simply to allow us to build a movement that can win elections in order to be in the position to do any policy whatsoever, right? But then when we get there, obviously this question of who owns the stuff is going to become really, really important. So from the perspective of what you're talking about, uh, automation, obviously if we, we start to live in an economy where, all, where basically a, a tiny number of huge corporations own all the not just the, the actual physical machines that are able to produce things but actually much more importantly the intellectual property that sits behind all the uh the artificial intelligence that sits behind um automation that uh, allows them to kind of generate huge amounts and analyze huge amounts of data in order to uh, innovate and create the commodities and algorithms and services that we all use um, those huge corporations if allowed to will basically come to monopolize huge huge areas of economic activity and they will use the power to automate basically just to enrich themselves and to push other people out and that is what we're seeing of course with the big tech monopolies um the only way to, to really deal with that is to make sure that rather than a tiny number of capitalists owning these machines that are able to produce everything that we need to survive is that we all own those in common um, and that uh, we use them not simply to create as much profit as possible, but actually to build an economy where everyone's needs are met and that is environmentally sustainable and meets, you know, the various other criteria that we would want to impose on that. And so, yeah, that does require, I think the Green New Deal is a way of getting there because I don't think it's really possible to do the Green New Deal without some level of expanding public ownership of the economy. So say, you know, nationalizing a lot of the transport networks, nationalizing a lot of the energy infrastructure, um, doing things like state support for research and development that then allows the state to kind of own the end result as well, or at least the public to end the, own the end result of that research as well. And all of that really requires, as I said, much greater kind of public involvement and public ownership of the economy. But then down the line, I think there's a question as to whether or not we just go back to the kind of 1970s uh, hierarchical state ownership or whether we try and take it a step further and go for democratic public ownership so that would look like again worker ownership some big corporations it would look like if you had a publicly owned corporation it wouldn't just be you know politicians and bureaucrats running it there would be workers running it there would be consumers running it there would be some maybe elections to uh, the boards of these big corporations so that we could begin to have basically to extend um, democracy into the realm of the economy which is really the only way that we're ever going to be able to um, 
harness our collective energies, wisdom, and build this movement that's going to be powerful enough to deliver a green and, and sustainable and just economy. So yes, I mean, that question of automation really cuts to the heart of this challenge of socializing ownership, but it's a challenge that actually we need to overcome for so many different reasons, not just the question of, of employment and automation, but also uh, environmental sustainability, equality, justice, all these different sorts of things. Well, Grace, we're at our time now. Um, I'd like to thank you so much on behalf of uh, everyone on this, on this call here for joining us. Um, we really appreciate your insights and, and ideas. Um, and so I, I'll let the, the students say cheerio, give you a wave or something like that. Um, and hopefully if there's any other questions that come from them, I'll uh, send them your way or they can tweet you directly on Twitter. So um, great. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much for hosting me, Ralph. This was really great. It was so lovely to meet so many of you. And yeah, if you do have any more questions for me, either, you know, let Ralph know and he can put us in touch with our email or just come straight to me on, on Twitter. My DMs are open. Yep. Great. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll bring this to a close and uh, I hope you have Bye, a guys. good rest of the evening in the UK. Thank you. You too. Bye. Bye.